Hey, Bass Geek here, and today I have stocked up on some swim baits. Alright guys, so I know you've seen just this last week the video that me and Richard did together. We had a tough day out on the water, uh, but he did bring me an assortment of my favorite thing in the world that he makes, the swim baits. So I want to go over some of the stuff with you guys. I want to show you why his swim baits, why the Bass Munitions Patriot Minnows are my favorite swim baits and why realistically they're one of the most diverse baits that I have in my tackle box. Now, what I want to do is I want to show you, I've got about three to five colors that really I lean on heavily. They're my go-to colors, and that's kind of what Richard brought me. Uh, one color he didn't bring me, I'll throw a picture of that up and let you know what it is. Uh, but basically, they these colors cover the gamut. Anything you can imagine, these four or five colors are really gonna cover any water clarity any day that you ever run into and we're going to go ahead and start with to me my favorite color in the world and you guys know i love clear water and so generally when other people hit the lake and go looking for that dirty water that stained water i'm generally going the other direction i'm looking for that clear water a number one it's a lot less pressured because most guys don't like it uh, at least down here where I'm at, they always go looking for the dirty water. So I can go find fish that may be a little deeper, but they're also a little less pressured most of the time. And so for me, that bait and that color is going to be my ghost shad. Now it's not the general kind of white, milky, gray ghost shad. This is a ghost shad that I actually fell in love. The original color was in the Shadalicious by Strike King. And so I asked Richard if he could duplicate that for me. And that is the Patriot Minnow in the ghost shad. And you can see it's kind of got a dark back to it, but it's got a very translucent tail and a very translucent belly, and for the most part, rest of the body. It's kind of a smoky color. And guys, that color right there, high sun, uh, super clear water, and I'm talking about five, and you guys know a lot of the water I like to fish in is 10, 15, 20, 30 foot visibility. That color right there can come in so super handy. Now that's the five inch version, that's my go-to. Now one of the things that I worked with Richard on was making sure we get a lot of tail action out of this. And one of the reasons, so what we've done is we've only dipped it back so far. And that really comes into play when you get into the other side of the spectrum, the dirtier water where you're gonna want a little brighter colors and a little more thump, and we'll get to that in just a minute. I do wanna show you, he also makes them in the 3.5 inch. Now guys, let's take a Kitek style swim bait, a rib style swim bait, which Richard also makes in the Recon Shad, and those things are really great during the winter time. I like them because you want to reel those things very slow. They've got a very wide tail kick. During the winter time, everything slows down. Once you get in that cold water, that's why those rib style swim baits work so well in the cold water. During the summer, these smooth sided swim baits tend to do a little bit better because they have a much tighter wobble, much tighter action to the tail. And what that does is it mimics a little more warm bodied, warmed up bait fish. They've got a much tighter action. Where during the winter time, you know, they've got that kind of wide lethargic action in their tail. So that's why I love these things. The other reason 
is that a 3.5 in the Patriot Minnow has a much bulkier get the shots out, a lot more girth than a 3.3 or even a 3.8 in the rib style swim baits like the Recon Shad that Bass Munitions also makes. This bait is so much more bulky and has got a much more realistic shad, you know, style, uh, shad style body to it. And, you know, the other thing is you can actually see, I mean, how thin it is. So it's, it's, a, it's very much like a shad, you know, bodied bait. Uh, and again, this is my 3.5 inch and I'll use a four alt hook in this. So it, it takes a, a much bigger hook than, you know, you would put in, you know, those rib style swim baits. But those are my go-to a lot. Like generally, I'm gonna throw this, you know, really uh, when the bite's tough, a lot of times by itself on a half ounce or three eighths ounce head down deep. Uh, I can also throw that up shallow and a quarter or a three eighths ounce head, depending on how fast and how shallow I want to move the bait. But that's my go-to ultra clear water. Now, the next bait, the next color that he gives me, it's really kind of a do-all color. You, and well, let's just get right into it. Now, again, he makes these, this is the natural shad, and he makes these also in as does he, you know, any of these colors. He makes them in the five inch and he makes them in the 3.5 inch. Now, what I love about this, and you'll see, I mean, right away, guys, it, it's very much a very natural shad. It's got this glimmery, I know you can't see it in the pictures, and I'm telling you, video and pictures don't do these baits justice. You have to see them in person. If you could see kind of almost the pearl, the gray pearl essence uh, and glitter, almost like a blue. I mean, it's it's not blue, but it's like a blue gray. I, I don't even know how to explain it. And then the white belly. Guys, this is generally my go-to color in about any water clarity that's three foot, two and a half foot. I, I'll even say, I'll say two foot, two and a half foot to all the way out to the super clear water again, 20, 30, depending on, you know, the amount of wind, the amount of light uh, penetration that's being allowed. If it's an overcast day, or if it's still early in the morning, this is a great, a little more solid color than this. And so it's gonna give a little, little more, you know, a little more solid of a target. Now, I also like to fish this in, you know, in the dirtier water, and I love it around smallmouth in clear water. And one of the reasons why is because I can take a sartreuse pin and put a nice little line right down that lateral line where the gray and the uh, white meet, and you put a sartreuse line down the side right there, and I'm telling you, suddenly you've got a smallmouth killing machine and in dirtier water, even for largemouth, he just stands out just a little bit more in that two to three foot range. Uh, or, you know, when you're super deep, uh, that color right there really does stand out. Now, a lot of times what you're gonna see is you're gonna see me using this color on an underspin because it's a little bit of smaller bait. You got the flash of the underspin. So that 3.5 inch, it just stands out a little better. I think it gives it a little more target over the blade, the flash of the blade. A lot of times they may come in just under and hit the blade itself. I think that gives it a little more solid target. But that's the natural shad. And like I said, I love to put a sartreuse stripe down that. It really, really gets those small mouth and those large mouth and a little dirtier water going. Now, one of the baits that I actually, one of the colors that I use, and uh, he didn't bring me none of because I've got plenty of them, and that is the Table Rock Shad. And it's kind of a purple to a green side. Now, there's just, I'd like to tell you I use that in 
dirty water. But the odd thing about that bait is there's just some lakes that might be, again, that three, two to three, you know, foot clarity mark uh, that I'm fishing out deep. They just like that color. Uh, but a lot of times I'm using that in places where fish are really deep, even on those dirtier uh, lakes. Some of you will know them. And if you go back and watch some of my videos, you'll really see. But, uh, you know, one of the lakes in particular, I really, really love that color down there. Uh, I think it's a combination of how deep the fish go and uh, that color being both bright and dark. Such a uh, mix uh, that helps it really stand out in that in that water at those depth levels. All right. So sort of my go-to dirty water or semi-dirty water cloudy. Now, again, this is another one that it's not going to do uh, it's not going to do you any justice to see because you you really can't see that that blue pearl essence to it. But and I forget Richard makes so many different colors and that's the one thing about bass munitions guys. If you've got a color in mind Call Richard up, send him a picture, explain to him what you want. Man, he can make and match anything. I mean, he is a color master, and, and that even goes with his swim baits. He would amaze you some of the stuff he can do with the swim baits. And I know this is a color that you're not going to be able to see. Again, it looks just like a, a white, but when you get it in person, there is this like blue glow, blue glimmer to it that just makes this bait just light up. When you drop it in the water, it just glows. So again, this is another bait that when it's dirty, when the water is that two foot and guys, I fished it, Del Hollow, go back and watch. I fished this color bait in a foot of water visibility in 20 foot over grass beds and crush some big large mouth and some big small mouth. The one thing that I do, again, put a sartreuse line down the side, especially if I'm around small mouth. Uh, if I'm around small mouth, I'm absolutely gonna put that sartreuse line down the side. Just a fine line down the side, just enough to make it. But like I said, pictures and videos not gonna do this bait justice. It's so gorgeous. You can see that blue pearl in it hits amazing and again he makes that also in the small ones which i did catch a nice small mouth on an underspin in that video with that that particular bait running it across the uh the grass in about 20 foot of water and a foot of visibility i know that sounds crazy so that's generally like realistically the four colors so the table rock the blue pearl blue essence i don't I, again i forget what he calls that guys look it up or call him about it uh he'll definitely tell you if it's not on the website uh the natural shad which is kind of my do all color and then my ghost shad which is you know that's that's going to be my go-to when i'm out there looking in that clear water and i've caught so many big fish small mouth and large mouth on that color in clear water it's insane but all that being said, the guy makes some incredible colors. Now, if you're fishing lakes, and I don't have the five inch to show with me, but if you're fishing lakes that have uh, trout in them, here's his rainbow trout. Guys, he makes these in the five inch, and I'm telling you, if you've got trout out there, they will destroy that little bait. Now, this is the pro blue red i believe but anyway it's rose blue red I, guys i'm awful with the names richard please don't kill me for butchering the color names he makes so many daggone colors but this again this is another color that you're not really it's not going to do you justice you can see the blue and then it's like a a red gray like this rose down the back guys this color right here on lakes like, I'm gonna give this one away, but lakes like Smith Mountain, 
uh, the North Carolina lakes, man, this right here is outstanding. The co this color right here does very well on those particular lakes. Now, he makes an AU and he makes a couple of different versions. This is like a, a AU flash that I just got. I've got the other version. It basically doesn't have the uh, all the glitter in it. But I've got the other that's kind of like the straight AU. And uh, love that color bait. You actually will see me catch a fish on that bait in a future video when the light was low. Here's another great color. And guys, this is, a, again, a smallmouth fishery, clear or not clear. This is the Sexy Shad. And you can see it's got that killer blue back, that sartreuse down it, and then that white belly. Such an awesome looking color right there. A color that I use a lot during the bluegill spawn is this little color right here. And this is bluegill flash. Love this color right here. Great color during the bluegill spawn. So now let me tell you real quick why I think this is one of the most diverse baits in my box. And it's not just because I can fish it in clear to dirty water, but I can fish it at every single depth level, even top water. The great thing about this bait is if you can see, it's got a very flat back. Well, what's great about that is, is I can take a very slight belly weighted hook since this is not a hollow body, so the entire body's not hollow, it's just got a slit in the belly. It's a hollow belly. So what's great about that is that I can put a belly-weighted hook in this with a screw into the nose, and I can hang me a small treble hook here, and I can take this bait and cast it out, and it will come, because of the shape of the head, it will come through the water if I really keep my rod tip high as a wake bait. So it'll create a V wake and the tail will actually kick water and make an S wake behind that V wake. And guys, during the fall, that can be crazy deadly when they're busting top water or maybe they're chasing shad to the top of the water, but the bass themselves aren't breaking the top of the water. I'm telling you, you can fish it any way you can imagine. And that's what I love about the design of that particular body style over a lot of others. It really keeps you from having to have a ton of different swim bait styles when you can do so much with this one, especially pair it with the ledge head, which I'll go into a lot of the tweaks on my swim baits later on. But, uh, telling you guys I, I love the body style and because it's not a hollow body like a Bastrix or a, you know a zoom swimmer or you know a shadowlicious you'll catch so many more fish on this one little bait all right guys make sure you check out bass munitions down in the description below you know I've got links to all the gear that I use uh, to throw these. I've got links to all the uh, uh, baits and I've got a 10% discount code. It's just uh, Geek10. So you can go out to Richards, buy anything you want off of his website. Use that code Geek10. Make sure you don't, make sure you put it in the code, not the description box. So Geek10 and get you anything that Richard makes, including some custom colors. Questions and comments in the comment section below. You guys know I love to talk about fishing with you. And I love to talk about any sort of other swim baits and products. I love to learn from you guys. I love to learn from you guys. So don't be shy. Don't think that I know everything and I'm going to embarrass you by you saying something or bringing something up. No. There's, I mean, I'd be an idiot if I didn't listen to you guys. I want to learn. That's what this is all about. It's about learning. It's about catching more fish and catching bigger fish. You know, I'm just not, I'm sorry. I'm just not one of those guys that likes to go out there and go fishing. 
I like to go catching. That's the fun. Catching fish. Finding fish and catching fish. That's the fun. Anyway, guys, like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you ring my bell. Ring that bell, guys, so you get those notifications when these videos come out. Watching is super important. And you guys rock.